In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can set up a ping pong delay inside of Bitwig Studio. And for those of you who aren't familiar with ping pong delays, here's the way that they work. So typically what you have is your left is first. I don't know why it's that way. I guess because left, right, one, two, you have that delay occur. And then on the right, okay, it's listening to what happens in the left and then it will trigger the right one. So in this case, what we would expect to have happen is we hear that first delay in the left channel after a quarter note, and then we hear the right delay after the quarter note plus the value here, which quarter note plus quarter note equals half note. And when we listen to that, yeah. let's turn it on. Yeah. That's what we get happening. So the important thing is like, if I bring this down to like, let's say a 16th note, we still hear the one in the left first before the one in the right. Yeah. And then we can add our feedback in. Yeah. Okay, and there is your sort of classic ping pong delay effect. Now, in Bitwig Studio, there is no ping pong delay mode in any of the delays. So it's something that you have to set up yourself and there's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you one method with the delay two that kind of works. And then I'm gonna show you a method with the delay four where it's like a true kind of ping pong delay that you have complete control over and can do whatever you want with it. Um, but let's just go first by showing you that like if I search for ping pong in here, okay, under presets, we have a grid ping pong, we have a 16th ping pong. The grid ping pong is like a ping pong delay. Yeah. The issue with it yeah. is that when you go in and you start to mess with like feedback or you mess with some of these controls, you'll hear that it's not set up like yeah. the same way that the one in Serum is or like the other ones are gonna be where we're always gonna hear those two delays. So we kind of have to bring in yeah. some feedback here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the reason why like I would almost not even touch that feedback control, which is not as much uh, true control over the signal as you'd probably want, but it does more or less work the, the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's one example of a ping pong delay. The other one when you search for ping pong in the presets definitely is... Uh, not really a ping pong delay. We're gonna hear, hear it yeah. here. So let's say we set up the same thing. Yeah. So that's not really bouncing back and yeah. forth. And it's also triggering the right before the left. Okay, so let's talk about the way that I might set up a ping pong delay inside Bitwig. So the first method would be with the delay two. This is not the way I'd recommend it, but it's a quick and dirty way to do it. So one thing I thought was if you have left and right and you choose the source to be left on both, maybe the right one will listen to the left first, but it doesn't work that way as you're gonna hear uh, right away. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Start by bringing the width all the way up. Get rid of the filters for now. Yeah. Okay, we hear the right before the left and that's fine in this case, as long as you know how you want it to be offset. So if we wanted that quarter note followed by like the 16th note, we would have to set it up like this, four and five. Yeah. And now the question is, how do we get the feedback? So a couple ways you can do it. The way that I find works best is we're just gonna work with the cross feed on the later delay, which in this case is the right one. We could invert this, that would be fine. If I add the cross feed here up to like 11, yeah. we're gonna keep hearing the feedback in the left, but not in the right. So if I then bring my feedback here up to 11, we're gonna get something a little bit closer to a classic ping pong delay. Yeah. And you can hear that just like that. And what I would then do is I would just bring in, just for the sake of it, I'd bring in like a macro and then have these routed to be about the same. I find that on the feedback, you might want this one down just a little bit. And let's take a listen now. Oh. And there's your effect. And that's essentially a ping pong delay right there. The other way you can do it in a way that has a little more control is gonna to be to use the delay four. And as long as you get your routings correct, you're fine. So in the delay four, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and crank this all the way up, okay? So right now we should just be hearing uh, the quarter note delay. And we have the ability to change the output panning as well as the output volume. I'm fine with that minus six. Let's set this to go to the right. So we'll do the opposite of what's traditional with a ping pong delay. Yeah. And now what I have to do is I'm going to send uh, this signal into number two. But the cool thing about this is it responds to the first delay first. So now it is like a true ping pong delay where we're expecting to hear that quarter note and then we would hear an eighth note. So let's just listen to this and see how it worked. Yeah. Cool, and then I can pan this one out to the left. Yeah. The awkward part about that is just that this one's like really loud, louder than you'd expect, because normally in the delay, you expect each repeat to be a little bit quieter. So let's just offset that by about 3 dB, and let's take a listen. Yeah. And now if we want feedback, the way we're gonna do it is not by feeding back into two, but sending the feedback from the delay line to back around. And so I would be sending this back into one. So this is really my feedback control here. Yeah. And then you have options to color these differently in the feedback effects or go into the effects here, whatever you want to do. Okay, so those are two ways to make ping pong delays inside of Bitwig Studio. This delay four is kind of the cooler method because we could take this even further and we could like send then some of this signal into three and then send that back around into one. You know, there's a lot you can do with it, obviously. Um, just experiment, but this is the way to set up your classic ping pong delays. I would recommend if you use ping pong delays a lot and you don't use a external plugin for it, that you would go ahead and just put a macro on here. And if you just want the two, the ping and the pong, okay, you would set this to go to this guy here. And then you would just want to label this feedback. Okay, and then this was then going to control your feedback. You can change all the other settings in here, but this is just so that you realize, okay, that's where that's coming from. Yeah. All right, I hope that's been helpful for you. And uh, if you are somebody who uses ping pong delays, but you don't have like a bunch of plugins that simulate the same effect, here are two solutions for you inside of Bitwig Studio. Thanks for watching.